this is the volume map example. But here we will look at the structured mesh of hexamphent elements. And the map functions, and we will modify the number ring to mesh it through the volumes. This so where we start to work on the small part. And I can use the OR function. If I just press a face or a rectangle, the faces that I select remain, or I can double click for a PID selection. Instead of selecting entity and PID, I can use the entity mode, double click for PID selection. I press lock because I will work with a small model for time now. So first, I switch to the volume module. And we're working with the structured mesh and the map function. The map function first uses the master face middle click to select the slave face. If the mesh is not the same on the master and the slave, the master mesh will be projected on the, on the slave. Middle mouse to proceed, the round area is automatically detected. Middle mouse, middle click to proceed. 16 steps are found for the thickness. And press next. The property window opens. It means that I need to assign the PID to the solid element that will be created. I can press new, OK, at the default. And the solid element has been created. When you're working with volume mesh, you always need to start with a surface mesh. When we create the volume mesh in structure, all the structure functions, the volume definition is automatically created. In this definition, you set, for example, the PID. You can see the type of algorithm used and some parameters for the mesh. For example, if I change the no numbering just on the on the surface, then the volume mesh has been erased. But still, the definition is there. So with the definition, I can remesh the volume. I don't need to go through the mapping steps again. Uh, to remesh it, I need to have quad elements on the round area. So let's say I change the numbering. I just activate the opposite. And use uh, nine nodes the remesh macros in the options list is active so the faces is automatically remesh. Now I go back to the volume module. Go to the volumes list. I have my definition. I can just press remesh. Okay, it's we have the volume with a new, new node numbering. And also notice that in the volumes group, there is erase and delete. Erase means that I erase 
the elements. And delete means that the elements are erased, and also the definition is deleted. If I just use the erase, the elements are gone, but the definition is there. I can just press remesh to get the elements back. If I use the delete, the definition is deleted. I have to go through the steps again. So let's look at another example, the map function. If we just have one master and one slave, and no round area, I can just press next. And set the number of the elements through the thickness between the master and slave, say 10 elements. For the other functions in the structure mesh, offset, slide, sweep, translate, revolute, we have to start with the circuit mesh. For example, let me show the offset. I press the face, the offset goes in the direction of the normal face, which is the gray side. The gray side is inward. You can see the arrow, it's on the inside. I have to make a minus, let's say minus 20, we have four elements, okay. So, now we switch to, uh, to the other model. I've lost the view. I can now press invert. I can unlock it, unlock it again. Now, if I press the all button, I will always get uh, the large model. We will use the mapping function. But at this geometry, we see that the, the thickness is either three or two elements. And it can be handled with a map function. We also see that there's no mesh on the slave side. It means that the master mesh will be projected on the slave side. Now to pick all the master sides, Middle to proceed on the slave side. It's only two on the slave. Middle. The round area is automatically detected. I press next. At this example, I have to uncheck the allowed changes on round area. And because I will use the already meshed uh, round area. And I also get the warning that more than one possible master out there, we have to press the, the large one. Okay, the function is finished. I deselect the geometry, I can look at the solid elements. You can see that the mesh from the master side is projected on the slave side. You can have a look at the elements through the thickness. I 
and this will end the volume map example.